Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another action figure review, and today we're reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified Firefly. If you guys don't want to believe it or not, I am actually a big fan of G.I. Joe, and I've been collecting G.I. Joe Classified since Duke came out. But before we continue the tour review... Hey, yo, wait a minute. Wait, what? Oh, wow, that's so cool. No way, that's so cool! Look at that! Why the- Yo, that's- Bruh. You have got to be kidding me. Wow. You're plugging. Bro, I'm just gonna say it right now, like, Marvel Legends, the people who work on the Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, the people who work on Star Wars Black Series. Did you see what G.I. Joe did? They just shot y'all out of the water. Your action figures are great, but the way y'all packaged them in their non-plastic way is terrible. G.I. Joe classified Whoever's working on them understands presentation. Presentation means more than just throwing an action figure in a box and putting them in wrapping paper. All right, now let's talk about Firefly. Now, here's the thing. I didn't get into G.I. Joe because of the original television show. I didn't get into G.I. Joe because of the comic books. I got into G.I. Joe because of, I believe, the 2006 show freaking um gi joe renegade i don't know who made this show but they need an emmy i don't know why but to me i love this show and it was the reason why i got into gi joe so all the characters i would get like scarlet duke roadblock snake eyes rat trap all those people i'd get because of the show so for actual origins i don't know who firefly is i do know that he's an assassin who uses literally anything to get the job done like Explosions, poisons, freaking hot dogs. He used hot dogs, apparently. It's just a bunch of stuff like that. I, that's what I know about him. But in G.I. Joe Renegade, he just seemed like a fire freak, honestly. And that's why I liked him. I'm sorry if I wasn't in depth like I normally am, but I'm literally about to get... Say things about things that should not be said and shared on the internet, but just know that it's the reason why I'm rushing. Continue to action figure review. The painting sculpture of this action figure is amazing. I love the gray, I love the light gray, the Cobra signal looks really nice, and though I did grow up watching G.I. Joe Renegade, I can appreciate the OG designs, because this thing just looks amazing. One thing I was a little um, shocked on was that Firefly didn't have a scar on his face, even though you can't see his full mask. Usually when you see his eyes, there's a scar there, which is new. But yeah, I really do like the design of this. really feel like a secret agent um, stealth mission type guy, and I just like it. I like it a lot. Looks really cool. I like the grenades, the pouches. I like how there's some green pouches. He got some grenades, flash grenades. You know, got his knife um, holder on his arm. I didn't say that right, but still, looks really nice. And for accessories, he comes with a backpack, which I honestly don't really know what to tell you about it. It's a backpack, but it has like detonator stuff and on it he also comes with two mines you know bombs like i'm just, of course it's firefly firefly has to come with some types of bombs and it's cool that he comes with the little ones you're playing on the ground and if you step on them they explode mines don't know why i had to say that alone you can also put the mines on the backpack next he also comes with the ac car that that possibly has a bomb on it and it can also go on his backpack along with the mines that he has which is a backpack that looks like he has a detonator on it which okay this whole thing is just, just talking explosion this is not helping my case here um for the next accessory he comes with a gun i can't tell you what type of gun but i can tell you it's highly detailed and looks really nice you know this is this is his secondary gun which looks really nice and then we got his first dairy gun, which I honestly don't know what it is, but I do know it's um, a OG type of gun that he used back in the day. Also, the clip can remove from the gun, which is, that's just so cool. It's just so cool. What makes it cooler is that it comes with a silencer. Now, it's very, very tiny, but you can tell it's also sculpted. And the coolest thing about the silencer is that it can go on both guns, the pistol and the semi-automatic gun i don't know what gun that is i just know you can put a silencer on it i'm sorry i'm sorry 
Ugh, I'm Russian, this is why I'm not bringing all the details, but still, it's really cool. The guns both look nice, they both have a lot of detail, and I love the fact that it comes with a silencer that can be put on both guns, even though it should've just came with two silencers. Either way, it's really, really, really cool. And next, he comes with a knife, which is... I... I'd rather him have a machete. I don't know. I just see Firefly with a machete now. Is that normal? Well, either way, it looks really nice. It is highly detailed. Not painted, though. Is, I might have to paint these things. I know I can't, but I probably will. He also comes with a detonator, which is just cool. It actually has the number three on it. Now, originally, I thought the detonator would actually have something where I could go, like, three, two, one, like, pull in and out, but it didn't. But, eh, it doesn't matter. The detonator does look really cool, though, and it comes with a lot of detail, and every Firefly action figure should have one. And finally, he comes with night vision goggles, which are just highly detailed. Now, of course, Firefly's secondary gun can go on the backpack, and you can plug the backpack in his back, which is just right there. You can also store his pistol, because it has a gun holster, which is just so cool. I really like that. And if you're wondering where the silencer goes, I just put the silencer on the gun that's connected to the backpack, then that way I don't lose it. It's just easier that way. You see, I'm struggling to put it in there for some reason because it has two holes on two sides and you can't tell which which, and this is a bunch of crap. And, da -da 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 -da. and of course, you can also store away his knife with his knife holder right here or quiver. Where you can just put that right there, which just looks really cool. And his knife vision goggles, well, you can have them hanging on his head or you could just put them on his head and then boom, he has a knife vision goggles on. One thing that I really like about the G.I. Joe Classified line is that you have storage for everything, except for the detonator. I don't know where to put that. Next is the articulation. Articulation on this guy is okay. When I first got it out of the box, it was actually really stiff. But once I put it in some warm water, oh my god, dude, this, this thing loosened up so quickly. And sadly, I do have that wiggle wiggle back that everyone who's been complaining about, but I don't really care about that. I'm just happy I got a Firefly. And the articulation on this guy, now that I boiled it, is actually really, really good. Almost, it's not too loose, but it's not too stiff either, which makes it the perfect combination for stop motioning, taking pictures, all in all, it's just amazing. This thing is just amazing. I'm, I'm enjoying our first, well, not first, second G.I. Joe classified action figure on this channel. You know, I might have to change the wallpaper though, cause, I don't think I have G.I. Joe on the wallpaper. I'll have to check that later. But still, doesn't change the fact this action figure is really cool, really nice, really articulated, and can pretty much get him into any move, any pose you can. I'm stuttering. I'm, sp I'm, I'm rushing. I'm sorry. I am. But I do really like this figure, okay? And I'm not lying to you. My fans. It's not. Jesus Christ. And now it's time for our rating. For painting and sculpture, this thing gets a star. Like, seriously. This thing just... You compare this to the comic book, like the original comic book version of Firefly, you're getting, you're getting an A. <laughs> it just looks so cool. I love it. For accessories and articulation, it definitely gets a star because even though I did have to boil the action figure for it to fully move, the fact that I didn't have to modify anything else, like fixing his butterfly joint or his waist joint and everything else, tells me that unlike Marvel Legends, there's no reason to modify this guy. You, you don't have to. I mean, yeah, you can boil it, but you don't have to modify it. You don't have to shave anything down, ball joint-wise. No, nothing. It's just good. Not to mention the fact that his accessories are insane. I mean, yeah, they're normal, for, especially for a G.I. Joe action figure. But the fact that you not only get these accessories, but they're also storageable. Like, I don't have to put them in a bag. I could just have him carry all of his stuff. It's just so cool to me. I, 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 don't, I, I don't see a reason not to give this guy a star. And finally, for the pricing, which is $24.25, because I got it from cndstore.com, which is so cool, link in the description down below, this guy gets three stars. This is definitely a really, really cool Firefly, and I am happy I was able to get this guy. I remember when G.I. Joe Classified first started, and they released Firefly in this Target exclusive, and I wanted to get it so bad because I didn't know if they were going to do him again. And so when they, I heard they were going to do this guy, and it turns out it was true, I was so happy. And I'm just, this is a good figure. If you guys like G.I. Joe action figures, or you just need someone, another Cobra agent, this is definitely him. But, um, yeah, this the guy is just cool. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, give me a like and a subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Also, the next tour review will be... Oh, yeah. I forgot I was a Power Ranger fan. This is going to be a good one.